Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Scripture Wizard, of course, and Mikey Allstar here. And today we have an interesting custom minifigure showcase. Oh yeah! So, I recently realized that the Cedric Diggory minifigure hair would be perfect for a Lego Bowen minifigure, so... I've decided to upgrade my original Lego Bowen, as you can see right here. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, right, I'm going to be showcasing him. I've showcased this minifigure in the past. It's one of the very first Lego Legend of Korra minifigures that I made. But I gave him a new head as well as new hair, and also be talking about Lego Pabu, even though I've already uh, talked about him in the past, so I wanted to show him again, for those of you that haven't seen him yet, so alright, and at the end of the year I might be doing like this big video where I show you guys all of the customs that I've made, that I still have in one piece, some of them I make, but then I like, um, I uh, take the parts from them and put them back to their original minifigure, or I use the parts for another minifigure that I make, so alright, and uh, as for more Lego Legend of Korra minifigures, I'll be making some more pretty soon, Hopefully this year, if not, then I'll definitely be starting next year. So, alright, here we go. Now keep in mind, this is a pretty old minifigure, so a lot of this stuff isn't the greatest, but I, uh, I did try. So, alright, here we go. For his legs, as you see here, I the base of it was just dark gray. This is before I started painting most of my minifigures, I just used the uh, actual Lego official co uh, colors. So yeah, I've got the dark gray, dark gray, and then I painted on this with uh, paint marker. I used to use paint markers before I started uh, to switch over to paint. This is all black paint marker right there, as you see there. And uh, yeah, pretty simple. And his belt, I'm going to move the light a little bit so I don't block it with my shadow. There we go. Alright, and his belt, as you see here, is uh, green. I believe that is a green paint marker. Actually, I actually need to move the light over this way. There you go. Sorry. Okay, this uh, the green uh, is green paint marker. It's a nice shade of green. I really like this color. I don't think I have this color in paint actually. So goes all the way around, and you've got the little front detail right there. Then his torso, which I actually updated a while ago, a few years back, I believe. Uh, with this, it used to be just a uh, green paint marker, but then I went over it with um, kind of this uh, whitish green thing, kind of like a, a mixture of green and tan. So uh, yeah, there's the detail right there. As you see, the original is still uh, able to be seen from behind that, but I feel like this color is pretty accurate to his uh, the color of his robes or tunic in uh, Lego uh, in Legend of Korra. So yeah, pretty simple. This is a pretty easy minifigure to make if you want to make this yourself. It's quite easy. It doesn't take too much. So, Alright, and then his arms, as you see here, uh, the base of it was a dark gray, and then you also have this uh, green around it for his sleeves, and you've got his uh, arms right there, which is a flesh-colored, and then the uh, flesh-colored hand. I painted on the uh, the flesh color right there, but then, yeah. Alright, so that's basically it. There's not much on the back, like I said. Uh, I'm not sure if I said, but you saw. Anyways, so uh, yeah, pretty old minifigure. doesn't look the best, but I still feel like it works pretty alright. I might uh, upgrade this again. <laughs> I might uh, go back uh, to my old Lego Legend of Korra minifigures and try to make them look better. I don't know. We'll see. Could be a fun project. And anyways, so here is the head. I haven't painted one of these heads in quite a while, so this is actually an old head that I used to have that I wasn't using for anything. So you've got this smile right here. It's kind of like a, a smirky smile. You also have his eyes there, which are painted in green. Uh, I'm not sure what color uh, of this green is considered, but it's a nice color for the eyes. And the eyes, of course, are painted in white. You've also got his eyebrows up there. And then the new addition, the very new addition to this minifigure besides the head, uh, this hair, which I painted pretty recently, I think over the weekend. Uh, last weekend, I should say. And uh, yeah, it is the Cedric Diggory hair. As you see here, I still have the uh, original face there. Don't mind that. The um, Cedric Diggory hair painted in black. Now this uh, hair does come in black, I've been informed. I didn't realize that it was on the Lego Bruce Wayne minifigure as well, the newest one. So, yeah. So there you go. I figured this hair looks a lot more like uh, Bo Wynn than the uh, Superman hair. The Superman hair is a little more slipped back and stuff, and his hair is like a little more quote-unquote 3D-ish. So, yeah, I figured that would work. You also have the little curl right there like Bo Wynn does. So, alright. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be making some more Lego Legend of Korra minifigures soon. I'm just going to put the light back there. There you go. Now you can see him a little better. So anyways, guys... Oh, actually, uh, I forgot to show you guys this. So, Pabu, um, and this was originally a cat, but I painted it, um, at first I painted it orange, and then I painted on all the other details. So, I have showed this in the past before, but I figured I'd show you guys quickly right now. 
So I painted on the white, I believe, and then I painted in the eyes and like all of the brown and stuff. You've got the white of the ears, and you've got the uh, brown of the legs, and you've got the uh, rings around the tail too. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. I think it turned out pretty alright. So uh, the best that I could do. So anyways, guys, I don't think I could actually do this any better now, honestly. So anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye! And before we go, for those of you that have not seen any of my LEGO Legend of Korra minifigures in the past, here is a little brief scan over this first box where Bowen is. This is all of the main characters, as well as a few uh, missed characters. So, alright, so these are pretty rough. I feel like I definitely do better now, but I'm still a little proud of them. These are uh, very early minifigures for me. So, alright. I've got Korra, which I do still like a fair amount, especially the head and hair. I think that works pretty nice. Got the new uh, bow in, and I just uh, fixed up Mako, which I might also edit a little bit. I don't really like his uh, torso and legs that much, but uh, I feel like I'll leave that. But his uh, head definitely needs some work, so I might do that. Tenzin, not the best, especially the head. Look at that. Interesting. Uh, uh, speaking of not the best, uh, Aang, pretty bad. Uh, the torso is alright, I guess. Like I said, I used a lot of paint markers for these before. I don't recommend using paint markers on minifigures. It doesn't look the best. If you want to see an example, just look at all of these. Uh, what uh, paint markers make a uh, minifigure look like. Now, I do admit, this one looks pretty alright. This is paint marker too, but at the same time, though, it's still not the best. Look at that face. That face is... That's haunting right there. Uh, Asami. Like, look at that. That's all paint marker. It doesn't look the best. Paint is definitely the way to go. This is paint, and that looks... Even though that's pretty bad, it looks better than that. Uh, paint marker also gives it like a little glossy feel, so if you do want a glossy feel, I guess that's one reason to use paint marker, but you can still get that with paints as well. So, And uh, yeah, I believe that is uh, Desna, so I don't know, I think so. And uh, yeah, there we go, that's a look at those. I have showcases on notes if you want to see them. Uh, if you don't, I can understand why, but <laughs> yeah, just a little look into the past.